Welcome everybody to the channel and welcome to the first episode in a brand new series that I am calling Taking the Click, where I'm going to take you through the weird and wonderful world of clicking simulators. That's right, I said clicking simulators, they are a real thing. Um, and first things first, not to sound hopefully not too patronising or condescending, Taking the Click comes from what I believe is just an English or British term called taking the mick. I don't know if it's something that's said anywhere else in the world, in America or anywhere like that, or anywhere else in Europe. But it basically means it's a play on taking the mick. Um, taking the mickey, taking the Michael. It basically means making fun of somebody. Oh, you're taking the mick out of me. You're taking the piss. You're, you're, you're making fun of me. So that's where the name sort of comes from. And it's a play on that because I am going to take the click out of some clicking simulators. Um, they are silly, they are nonsense. Yeah, I wouldn't even really call them games, but they're not bad games. Um, today, the first game that I'm going to cover in this series is called The Pigeon P, and if you are a fan of my channel, you may have seen this game before because I did a Triple Z Titles Bad Game review of it. But the thing is, it wasn't a bad game. Not really a game in the first place, but it wasn't bad at all. Um, which sort of put a, <laughs> put a spanner in the works on it being a bad game review. Um, that's happened a few times on Triple Z titles, bad game reviews, because I go in blind, it's literally impossible to know if it's going to be good or bad. The Pigeon P was not a bad game at all, so it's the first game that I'm going to do on this series, because it's the most memorable clicking simulator that I've ever played. Um, I'm going to go through it, I'm going to explain the game a little bit to you, not so much a review, Let's, I, just, I just want to shed some light on these crazy games. Um, if, by any chance, anybody who worked on these games happens to see these videos, I doubt it, but just in case, it comes from a good place, I assure you. These games give me a lot of joy, a lot of enjoyment. They are just... They're batshit crazy, which is... Which is... Um, well, well I'll, I'll come to that later. When I say batshit crazy... Um, that's sort of the theme of this game. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to show me the tutorial, um, which is annoying because I have uninstalled and reinstalled this game. But basically, it comes up saying, have you ever thought what it's like to be a pigeon? Um, and I think we all have. I think we can all say that we've, we've wondered what it's like to live your life as a pigeon. Um, and then it talks about how pigeons defecate. They poo on cars, amongst various other things. And then it sets you the task of pooing nine and a half thousand times just because. And that's it. Um, so then you go into the game and it tells you to press the X button or the R1 button, the right bumper, to do your poos. Um, and you... I don't know if you just noticed that. I'm going to go into that a bit more. You can you can keep pressing the X button. You can see I've already done over 10,000 clicks here. You can keep pressing the X button and you will do one click. There is no poo. No poo is to be had. No poo is to be done. The pigeon just sits there and gently flashes a little bit. Um, but then if you press the right bumper, you'll see it's going up quite quickly and you can just hold it down. So, so I tell you what, let's get to a nice round number. Let's get to ten and a half thousand. So the game requires you yeah, nearly ten and a half thousand. The game requires you to do nine and a half thousand clicks. Now if you were to tap away XXXXX, that would obviously take a while. Hold down the right bumper. Get five, four, three, two, one. I've already done five hundred. So this game would literally take like two, three minutes at most to get the platinum. I don't know if this was a design choice. I don't know if this was something that they accidentally put in. Um, but I have played another of the clicking simulators from this developer. And it's the exact same thing. So I can't help but think that this is a design choice. Um, I, I, I still, even on the second time of playing this game, haven't got the words to describe that. And, and how bizarre a choice that was for them to make. Um, like I've already done 3,000, just nearly 3,000 since I explained that. So t repeat that, rinse and repeat that two more times and I've completed the game. Um, now, you will be forgiven in thinking, what is the point of this game? You get nothing from it. There is, there is no reward. There is nothing to gain. There is no story. That'd be where you're wrong. 
every 500 clicks or every few seconds of holding down the button you get a trophy and obviously you'd be sitting there thinking well I'm going to get the platinum if there is one which there is incredibly quickly so hey at least I've got something from it but that's not all you get from it now my face is going to disappear just for just for a little bit of time because I'm going to go back to my dashboard <clears throat> and we are going to go into the trophies because this is where this is where the beauty of the game comes from I'm going to go into each individual trophy so you can see exactly what I mean. I'm going to go back in time all the way back to the first trophy for dropping your first present. Got to love the way that it calls them presents. Shitty little presents. So, there you go. Drop the first present in your life. That was the first trophy I got. 11 o'clock at night. For some reason, <clears throat> drop 500 presents. Now, look at the name of the trophy. Pigeons can fly at altitudes up to and beyond 1,800 metres or 6,000 feet. It's an educational game about pigeons, folks. Just in case you were too lazy to go on Google and find out all of your pigeon needs, um, you could you could download for £1.19, about $2, the Pigeon P, and learn everything you could ever possibly hope to learn about pigeons through through this game. I don't know, maybe you're doing a dissertation at university on pigeons and pigeon behaviours, I don't know but there you go, pigeons can fly altitudes up to and beyond 1800 metres let's keep going the average flight speed of a pigeon is 125 kilometres per hour 78 miles an hour, that's fast that's fast, I learnt a lot of things through this game, the fastest recorded speed is 92 and a half miles per hour, that's mental that's crazy fast imagine if you saw a pigeon flying that fast, you'd shit yourself a few centuries ago Pigeon presents were seen as extremely valuable. They're valuable. So there you go. Only a few centuries ago, people cherished pigeon shit. That's a real thing. Pigeons are actually very clean animals, considering they shit on the floor and then walk in that shit. Um, as far as I know, as well, this is something I've heard, it's not one of the facts in the game. If you see a pigeon that's not got all of its toes, it's because their poo dissolves their skin, which is absolutely grim. Um, pigeons can detect sounds at far lower frequencies than humans are able to do. Very interesting. Both female and male share responsibility of caring for and raising their young. So there you go. Equal relationships. That's what you like to see in 2022. Pigeons mate for life and tend to raise two chicks at the same time. Beautiful, romantic, lovely. Pigeons will often be seen in flocks of 20 to 30 birds. I said this at the time that I did my triple Z review of this game. You, you normally see a pigeon, or maybe a couple of pigeons, and then you see shitloads of pigeons. You don't see, like, five. You don't see ten. Pigeons are renowned for their outstanding navigational abilities, absolutely. Pigeons are incredibly complex and intelligent animals. How you would find that information out, I don't know. Pigeons might be the first domesticated bird. Interesting. I would have thought it would be budgies, but more for me. Pigeons can find their way back to the nest from 2,092 kilometres, 1,300 miles away. Homing pigeons, you know? Homing pigeons that they used to use back in the day. And, also, in the war, pigeons saved thousands of human lives during World Wars 1 and 2. I believe that was something to do with finding mines. Pigeons are really good at multitasking. How the fuck would you know that? Pigeons are really good at doing their taxes and cooking dinner at the same time and wiping their ass. I don't know. What a bizarre fact. Pigeons can recognise themselves. That's quite a cute one. I like that spiritual to some religions. Yep, I can see that, like um, with the Chinese, because they, they worship loads of different animals, don't they? So I, I imagine some different cultures probably, yeah, worship pigeons. They can help to tell the weather. A lot of animals can do that. I know that cows can do that. That's a really interesting one. Pigeons have delivered the mail. As I said a few facts ago, pigeons have always been known as uh, carrier pigeons, homing pigeons, things like that for taking mail and and whatnot. I think that was mainly a thing around wartime. So there you go. And then you get the platinum, the pigeon pee. You have completed the pigeon pee. Lucky you. Um, first trophy at one minute past eleven. Last trophy 
at six minutes past 11. A five minute platinum, and it only took that long because I was actually reading the facts. So if I'd have not bothered reading the facts, it would have been maybe like a two minute, a two minute platinum. Um, what a bizarre game. Um, this is somebody's life work. Or at least I thought it was until I went through the PlayStation Store and realised there are loads of these. And I will be coming to them on this series as well. Um, off the top of my head, there is obviously the Pigeon P. There's the Cow G, which is one that I've played before. Um, there is the Sheep G, coming soon. Uh, the Bat D. There is another one. <laughs> and then they've made loads of other similar games to this. Um, the Ketchup Story, the Slovak Run... Uh, Jumping Burger, Jumping Taco, I believe they're all by the same developers anyway, I apologise if they're not. Um, but there are a couple more based on animals, I just can't I can't remember what they were. Um, there's a Piggy Bank one, I don't know if that's the Pig G or if it's just a separate Piggy Bank thing, I don't know. Um, yeah. So there you go. The Pigeon P. Um, not so much a game, like I said, because you are just holding, it's an educational tool, if anything. Um, but it's just a bizarre little bit of fun, and that's what clicking simulators are for me. There's so many of these. It's crazy to me that like, I, I had this conversation with somebody this morning. I said, 10, 15, 20 years ago, every game was a AAA title. Um, it was all Call of Duties and Battlefields and whatever. It was all it was all shoot this or kick a football at this. You know, there, there wasn't much in between. Um, there was obviously there was there were platformers and. I don't know, things like Ape Escape and stuff like that, you know, there were niche games in there, but not to this extreme. Like there is literally one of these games coming out every few days, and I'm not even I'm not even exaggerating. Um one is coming out, I think I'm recording this today, it's the 20th. The most recent one came out a couple of days ago, and the next one releases on the 22nd. Um May. It's May that I'm recording this. So the 20th uh, the 18th, the 20th, the 22nd, like three of these games have come out because, well, they, they don't take much to make. Um, you, I, I imagine it's probably one or two people at most making these games. They're cheap, but I bet you they're making money because people know that they're an easy platinum. They know that they're a quick play. It's pocket change. You're, like, you're not going to miss £1.19, even in a cost of living crisis. Um, just absolutely balmy. And I love everything about them. I love how mundane they are. I love how strange they are. I love how pointless they are. I love how they stick in my head. I've played a lot of games the last few months since I started my channel. Um, I started my channel in March and I've put out quite a lot of videos already but the clicking simulators are always the ones that I think of. I will always remember the Pigeon P. I will always remember the Cow G because they're just silly and fun and memorable and bat shit crazy. I can't wait to play the Bat D so I can literally say that it's bat shit crazy. So this game, this game is pigeon shit crazy. Let's say that. Um, so there we go, guys. I hope this has been a nice little introduction for you into the weird and wonderful mental world of um, clicking simulators. Um, I hope you have enjoyed watching and listening to me taking the click, and hopefully I will catch you again in the future for another one of these just very, very, very strange episodes. Um, while you're here, please, if you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop me a comment, and let me know what you thought, and hopefully I will catch you in the future.